Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Baxley, Community Support Provider for Cook County Public Health and Human Services. Uh, it's great to connect with you all over video, even though I can't see you, I know you're out there. Uh, today's video, I just want to um, review just some basic tips that you probably already know and you've probably used before, but maybe helpful reminders for simple ways just to take care of yourself uh, in um, this whole COVID crisis that we are experiencing um, everywhere. Uh, I know that for myself, uh, my own emotional reactions can be kind of like a roller coaster and they can uh, change all throughout the day, depending on what's going on. Um, and uh, so some of these have been helpful for me uh, to uh, remind myself. Uh, I think one of the, and one of the most simple ones is focus on what you can control. Um, and what, one of the things that is most in our control are our thoughts and the things that we're doing. So a lot of these tips are around uh, ways of thinking and um, things to actually tangibly go out and do. One of the thoughts that helps me a ton is to remember that um, we are resilient. We are resilient people. We are resilient um, as, as a humankind and uh, we are gonna get through this. Um, things to do, uh, continue to take all the precautions to reduce your risk um, right now um, to your health and take comfort uh, that you're caring for yourself and for the people around you. Um, that comfort can be um, really helpful uh, when things feel crazy. Uh, technology is amazing and it's a wonderful tool to connect, uh, especially via video like this. Um, and uh, you, there's things like Facebook video or FaceTime or Zoom. Uh, it's a way of seeing each other's faces and interacting even though we can't be physically close. Uh, one really encouraging um, story I heard recently was of, of families that were um, gathering over Zoom, which is a mobile or which is an app you can download, and um, re reading uh, family or reading bedtime stories to all the grandkids together in this Zoom space. Um, and that has become a new uh, ritual and routine for this family um, as they adapt to uh, um, staying at home, uh, which is really great. It uh, made me feel really happy. Another th helpful thought uh, practice is looking for uh, the good things that are happening around us. Um, that's uh, I've seen that all over, uh, everywhere from... Um, uh, a group of people gathering at a safe distance outside somebody's window um, to sing happy birthday to a child who is at home uh, is really heartwarming. Uh, again, the 100 plus volunteers that are turning out to help at the grocery stores to get food um, to all of us. Um, there's a lot of good to still pay attention to. Uh, one of the other challenges with uh, being on the computer and on social media is um, all the news that we can take in. Um, it's a fine line, I think, between being well-informed and having that deluge of information um, increase stress. So um, remember, you can take give yourself permission to take breaks from that. And if you are going to consume news, um, really try to make sure it's accurate and well-informed. Um, news source. Um, I think a, a couple more I'll just hit real quick is um, be gentle with yourself right now. Uh, I think a lot of us have pretty high expectations of ourselves and uh, it may be, feel impossible to meet all those expectations uh, under uh, the new routines we're experiencing, especially if you're a parent um, or you're living with other people. Um, it's not going to be perfect. Um, so be gentle with yourself and each other. Uh, diet and exercise, hear it all the time. It's so really important. Um, eat well, eat healthy, 
and get outside and move your body. Uh, if if you don't have a way to move it inside, it's you can still do that, and you can do that safely, um, at a distance or alone, and um, and that goes so far. Um, I think uh, one of the most important things is if any of the stuff you're dealing with feels um, like too much, reach out for help, family, friends. If you don't have someone. Uh, Human Services is here uh, for support, also uh, behavioral health up at the clinic, and uh, there's also our crisis line, 24 hours. You've probably seen these around. Uh, the If you don't have this or don't have this resource, uh, the, the phone number to talk to somebody is 218-623-1800. If talking feels overwhelming, you can text the letters MN to 741-741. And uh, also, Let's Talk MN has a great uh, website, uh, and I'll have some links posted in this video as well. It's great to see you all um, from a distance. I'm imagining you all out there. Uh, stay strong. Stay resilient. We'll talk to you again soon.